hey, you want to be nasty media when your nasty piles of garbage? I'm going to come after you. No more Mr. Nice Guy. I'm an overnight success, 25 years in the making. I'm Alex Jones. This is the Info War. And all I want to see is America succeed. I love flyover country. I love the East Coast, the West Coast. I love Michigan. I love Texas. I love Indiana. I love California. I love black people, Hispanics, whites, everybody else. I love the Easter Bunny. As long as he didn't try to rape me and my family. Yeah, I got no friends in the establishment. And thank God they can't be seen with me. I don't want to be associated with them. I'm feeling mean. I want to take a few phone calls and a few other things with Roger. He's punching out, drive across town to a BBC interview. But it really is amazing. When I'm here with national TV, national radio, they come interview me. I do a few of them. They go, listen, we're really listeners. They got to do a hit piece. I'm sorry I got to do this, but it won't be too bad. But watch what you do. It'll take it out of context. And it's just, it's, they go, yeah, we're mercenaries. It's horrible. They almost pay us nothing now. It's all collapsing. You're absolutely right. What do we do? Can I have a job? So, I mean, they're running out of gas. We're exploding. They're imploding. And it's because we have goodwill for the average person. And folks know that we're reaching out and trying to empower humanity. Roger, I want to move quick to go to calls. As I promised, folks want to talk to you and you know, get, talk about action against George Soros. Mark in Oregon has been holding before you got here. During the break, I said, what do you want to cover next? You said, why is it that a-hole arrested? And you mentioned it. So, so I'm going to have you talk about that and then go to Mark. Yeah, look, I'm not an attorney, but I do know that paying people to advocate violence and assassination of an American president is against the law. George Soros is a, was a Nazi collaborator. He's a criminal. Have federal marshals go to wherever he is and pick him up. Have a friendly country extradite him. Let him stay in trial and pay the penalty. Yeah, you know, let's send him to the Russians. They really like him. Yeah, look, it's, I think the Hungarians are going to get him first. This guy is a stone cold. Yeah, they had a million people march in Hungary against him. The whole world gets he's the guy. Right, so why hasn't he been arrested? I guarantee you... If there was some billionaire going around advocating the assassination of Barack Obama, he would have been detained. He would have been charged, as he should have been. But for Soros to continue to this and to continue pouring money into the criminal David Brock, the money launderer, so he can continue to smear Trump is an outrage, just an outrage. Let's expand on that briefly. I mean, you were hit with polonium. They try to make jokes about it, like, who would want to do that? Well, they just blamed you for all the election, and you're a Russian spy, and you're behind WikiLeaks, so you're this evil mastermind that has to be arrested. Then you're poisoned. I guess you couldn't testify. Where are their hearings suddenly? You survived. Trump got in. Now they don't want to have the hearings, do they, Roger? No, I think the, the hearings sound to me like they're off. So what's interesting to me, Alex, is in terms of trying to figure out who tried to kill me or who tried to poison me, it's a crime that'll never be that'll never be solved simply because let's face it there are way too many suspects. <laughs> well, I'm almost I don't want to say jealous because but your Jan, John Hancock might be bigger than mine. The fact that they tried to kill you and not me. I mean they've done some stuff. They tried to kill me before and attack me and tried to kill my name. But you definitely have really get the grand prize uh, in the fact that they tried to whack you, buddy. Well, next time I'll take a pass. Thanks. Uh, this is a horrific experience. Yeah, I'm aggravated by those in the mainstream media who say, oh, maybe this was a hoax by Stone to sell more Yeah, books. your book almost didn't come out. You were in the hospital. You lost 10 pounds. You were delirious. A few times I called you, and they're like, he can't even talk. I got on the phone once with you. You were like in la-la land. And this is, not, this is not fake. I don't recommend it for weight loss. Let me put it to you that way. Uh, but the bad news for the establishment is I'm back. I'm strong. I'm on the mend. And I'm going to be writing and reporting on their foibles just as before. Uh, I'm happy to say Breitbart yesterday took an excerpt out of the, the making of the president 2016, got enormous readership, big boost from Infowars.com, the book now available at the Infowars website. And I reiterate, for anyone who buys the book at Infowars, if they will email me, just email me saying, I bought the book at Infowars, I'll believe you. And I will send you a signed book plate that you can slap in the front of the book, and now you've got an autographed book. Sure. Well, if you He's want, just send us a big stack of those, too, and we'll put those in there. But to be sure, I know we're not good at something about promotion. We're so busy. Send us uh, the excerpts on Breitbart, or we'll, we'll just copy it with, with, with a link to Breitbart and post that to Infowars.com right now, the full excerpt, uh, with a link to buy the book at Infowarsstore.com. I don't care if you get it at Breitbart or anywhere else. 
quite frankly, we're all in this together, and more of us makes us less of a target. I mean, my God. I want to explain it to folks. Roger, you feel better I'm there. Uh, you know, Bannon feels better you're there, I'm there, or or Joseph Farah or any of these, you know, or, or Tucker, you know, has the Daily Caller. We feel good when Tucker gets promoted, not bad. We're not in competition with them. We're in competition with George Soros and the globalists. Now, maybe after we defeat them and the world's a much better place, then, you know, guys like to fight. We can then have some battle over who's dominant. But right now, the enemy is the globalist. I couldn't agree more. Look, I love Tucker Carlson's new show on Fox. I never miss it. I think he's terrific. Uh, he's a real patriot. Uh, he's a gutsy guy. And I'm proud to call him my friend. We're not in competition between any of these organs. So, uh, look, there are too few of us breaking through. This is the election where the tipping point was reached. ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, and CNN, they lost their monopoly. We broke the back of their monopoly. And by the way, they I've been watching their I've been watching their body language. They are on CNN, MSNBC. They are genuinely panicked. They're not acting panicked. They look like they're waiting to get their pink slips. And the word is MSNBC and CNN are going to be sold off and basically just collapse. Well, I don't see uh, the AT and T Time Warner merger happening if Time Warner continues to own CNN. CNN is losing money putting forward such talented geniuses as Don Lemon, uh, no wonder they're losing many, uh, money. It's a harangue. It's a constant negative harangue. There are very rarely anybody who's articulate to defend the administration or to defend President Trump. It's almost unwatchable. It's not even vaguely entertaining. But above all, it is not news. It is not in any way news. Meanwhile, now Drudge still broke all records last year and just broke those records there billions of visitors a month. This is insane. Well, and I, I see uh, a promotion for a new special piece uh, being uh, anchored by Mike Smirconish uh, of, on uh, the President Trump and his results so far, his administration so far. Now, Smirconish is a very, very smart guy. I promoted him for a job in the Reagan administration where he served with distinction. So I'm going to be interested in seeing this piece and I'm only hopeful that it will be unbiased, that it'll be honest. Well, here's the bottom line. Wars are fought with blood. They're also fought with money. And we got great products. We got great books, great materials. If you don't buy the making of a president that is the blueprint of how we won, where we're going with the blueprint forward, uh, stick a fork in it, we're done. I mean, it takes a lot of money to run this operation. Uh, Stone racing around the world, giving up a successful lobbying 15 years ago when he really had a moral crisis, and I'm saying he was a bad guy, but he's told me this personally, you know, and going out and fighting tyranny since then and exposing JFK assassination is a beautiful thing. 1995 in hardcover, normally $24.95. Buy it from InfoWarsStore.com today or call toll-free 888-253-3139. We'll take a call or two for you, and you got to go and then finish up. But Stone, in the 40 minutes we've been talking, any other tidbits you should add? No, I think you have to watch this Supreme Court nomination very, very carefully. I love I how you know what's going on. When you, I mean, I know, I've heard from other sources as well. You're like, we have to watch very carefully. Yeah, uh, you know, I think Donald Trump could have as many as four appointments to the U.S. Supreme Court. That means that he could be a transformative president as opposed to a transitional president. This is, this is really epic. And I think that his first appointment is going to give us some key to what the other appointments will be. This is the unique opportunity. This is what we fought over in the last election. Well, I mean, isn't it already decided? And he said it's decided, you know. I mean, he's going to go with the list he said he was, even though we all know, I mean, I heard through the grapevine from some other people that there's somebody who'd really be even better, but I don't know how he didn't get on the first list. I wish he did. Well, look, I, the, I respect and support whoever the president chooses. The I agree. are very solid. Uh, I do think he'll have greater latitude in his second and third, maybe fourth appointment. But he's going to remake the court, and when you remake the court, you remake the country. Sure, that's the bit he's delivered on everything. We'll see what happens with the Supreme Court, but I, I mean, you can see he is obsessed with delivering because he wants to be a purist. I'm very excited. We'll take a call or two, and then Roger's got to go to drive across town for a BBC interview. Mark, I'm going to you first because you, before Roger was on, raised action against George Soros. Look, he's a horrible, evil person that obviously overthrows governments and does violent things. I don't want to pick a fight with him to act tough for the audience. But as a man, I have to say, you know, I mean, how much we have to put up with from this guy? Go ahead. Yes, um, kudos, uh, Roger and Alex. Um, two of my heroes. 
Um, Roger, it's truly great to hear you um, sounding at least as vital and strong as you've ever been. A full recovery. Godspeed. I truly believe that the making of a president will be number one on all book lists. It will be number one for a long, long time. The evil ones have read your book covertly and tried with polonium to block its ever seeing the light of day. Sure, and he almost didn't get it written. And he, and exactly. Uh, I have about a one-minute statement I'd like to Go make. Ahead. I think it's extremely important. Uh, the top globalists will, if they're allowed to, assassinate Donald Trump and or begin a civil war in America and or start a world war, as, of course, you both are fully aware. The necessary move to make now that the enemies of mankind are fully exposed is to utilize the police, the intelligence, and the militaries of the world, which are pro-liberty, and are ready and willing to engage in a gathering up operation, which will arrest the first, second, and third levels of the Illuminati, the ones such as Soros and Rothschild, and the backup and operational command and control, which operate beneath the top level of command. It's easily proven in a court of law that these miscreants have committed many and various crimes against humanity with no command and control in this evil organization. The only ones left will be those whose sole function has been to take and implement the orders given. Mark, Mark, that's a one-minute statement or more. Let me just say this. As long as your process is done, but I agree with you, and so does Roger. Soros has committed huge crimes. So has Hillary, everybody. Look how Trump's only delivering. He can't say, I'm going to prosecute her. That's not his place. The fact that he's recused himself by saying, oh, I hope that doesn't happen, I at a gut level believe he won't stand in the way of Sessions, who's already says he will recuse himself, not if, but when she's indicted. Thanks for the call, Mark. Roger Stone. Yeah, I think your caller is exactly right. Uh, I can tell you this, Alex. If I shuttle money between a nonprofit and a political action committee and the various other fronts, millions and millions of dollars, as David Brock has done, I'd be in jail right now. Wasn't the lesson of Watergate that no person, no matter how elite, was above the law? So the law should be applied to the entire Soros gang. No, we're not talking about detaining people because we disagree with their political views. We're talking about detaining and trying people because they have broken the law. I'm not if a crook. I'm not a crook. One standard. Must be one standard. Let's I go agree to another with you. call. Let's go to another call. Let's do it. Let's talk to Roger in Texas. You're on the air. Go ahead. Uh, Alex, thank you. This is Roger, your Indian American caller, long time. Uh, I report on um, everything to do with radical Islam in Texas, and, and I've been a follower of uh, Roger Stone. Well, awesome. Let me just say this. I was at the Women's March trying to get out of town. and I mean, I was there covering it for like three hours. It was run by Islamics. They were handing out hijabs to women, and then it was in the news it was run by Muslims and Islamists and this weird group connected to Hamas. So I'm asking, since when do the women groups, and I'll go back to you, caller Roger Stone, sit there and openly be run by Islamicists when that's the most oppressive group to women anywhere, Roger? Yeah, well, let's be very clear. Radical Islam uh, does not allow women to appear in public without their veil, to choose their own husbands, to own property, to vote, to travel without the permission of their husbands. And if a woman is raped in an Islamic country, she will be stoned to death and the rapists will be held not responsible. Is that what our feminists want? Let's ask Betty Friedan and Gloria Steinem. Do you like that? You like that system? Because that's what you're supporting. But it's crazy. It's like it's not real. It's like satire. The, the, the left, uh, uh, Madeleine Albright, let's cue it up if we can, came out in this short clip. She, she tweeted it too. She said, I want to join Islam now. In fact, I'm joining Islam because we're being mean to Islam. No, we're not. I mean, it's crazy. Roger, uh, in Texas, your question for Roger. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, so um, Alex, I was Alex and Roger. So yesterday I was at a historic uh, hearing the, by the Texas Homeland Security Forum called Defending Against uh, Radical Islamic Terrorism in Texas. And this should have been reported by the mainstream media, uh, not just nationally, but locally as well, which Roger knows how corrupt they are. And, and you know as well, Alex. How sure, so they didn't report on it. Go ahead. No, they did not. And, and this was uh, uh, hosted by a representative 
uh, Biederman and uh, Lieutenant Colonel Roy White, and they, they had experts and former Muslims and current Muslims. Sure, so they were, and, what were they covering? The plan to take over? Yeah, so it was, uh, they sent out uh, a question to CARE and 400 Islamic organizations saying, okay, do you agree that the Constitution supersedes uh, Sharia law? That's it. Nobody replied. No, that's right. All the major Islamic groups won't decry terror, won't decry overthrowing the Constitution, won't decry conquering America. So that's it. You're incompatible. No. And I don't care if you were a Muslim, if you didn't want to overthrow the damn country. Roger Stone, great point. Hey, don't matter, Roger. Shoot your own video, put it on YouTube, we'll pick it up. Don't count on the media to cover it. You are the media. Roger Stone. That's exactly right. We all remember back during the campaign when you had this uh, father of an Iraq war veteran speaking at the Democratic Convention, criticizing Trump for his disregard for the Constitution. Is this guy kidding? He believes in Sharia law. He had written himself that Sharia was superior to the Constitution. So who's bullshitting who? Uh, it's, an, it's an outrage, but you won't find that covered or mentioned on CNN or CBS. It's not exist, it doesn't exist, they don't report it. You're exactly right. We've broken the monopoly. Go online, tape your own video, cover your hearings. Folks, if you want to destroy CNN and NBC and ABC and all of them, go out and put it on YouTube. You'll get thousands of hundreds of thousands of millions of views. Start your own news organization. Do it. You don't have to be perfect. Just do it. Please destroy them. Please, I'm begging you. I want competition. Make me obsolete. Please, I just want to beat them. Please, please, please. Roger Stone has StoneColdTruth.com. He's agreed to stay five more minutes at the end of the hour. StoneColdTruth.com. Get his book, The Making of a President. Now, Donald Trump led the revolution against the New World Order. It is a big, old, thick, hardcover book. Start shipping in a week or less. InfoWarsStore.com. InfoWarsLife.com. Pharmaceuticals. We also have big discounts running right now on DNA Force, uh, Super Mel Vitality is about to sell out. I want to thank you all for your support. It is integral, it is vital, and we thank you. And 25% off on water filtration and air filtration systems. Uh, as Alex said, the making of the president 2016, how Donald Trump uh, orchestrated an American revolution and took on the new world order, will be mailed uh, from Amazon, uh, from Skyhorse, my publisher, from Barnes & Noble uh, on Saturday. This is a definitive look about how Donald Trump was able to take on the mass media and take advantage of the rise of alternative media, Infowars, Breitbart, Daily Caller, and others. And in this new media mix, how he challenged the American establishment across the board to win the greatest single upset in U.S. political history. Uh, I have uh, said, and I say again, if you buy your book from Infowars.com, on the InfoWars store, I will send you a personally autographed book plate to put in the front of the book, and you will have a signed copy of what I believe will be a New York Times bestseller and a historical book. So I urge you to go to the InfoWars.com store and order your copy today. I must also say that we are uh, very pleased today when I went outside to pick up the mail, my order of DNA force has arrived. Now, InfoWars store was out of this for a small period of time. Uh, fortunately, I had enough stock, so I didn't miss anything. But uh, let us now go to Tim in Illinois. But folks, DNA force back in the store. Thank you, Roger. And I popped out with a family call, but I'm here. It's great to have you co-hosting. Tim, go ahead. You're on air. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I have a great idea that I was hoping you could forward to President Trump, for me, that can be a death blow to both of these things that we're talking about today. You know, since 1985, it's only been illegal or legal for two countries to do direct-to-consumer advertising with pharmaceutical drugs. Now, a week or so ago, John Rappaport said that approximately 70 percent of the budgets for these organizations is from Big, pa Big Pharma. So how about a tasty little executive order? that makes it illegal again to advertise prescription drugs on television. That is incredible. That would kill MSM overnight. Wow. That is an absolute sort of Damocles over their head. Thank you, uh, Tim. Roger Stone, your comments in closing. Very clearly, Donald Trump is prepared to take on Big Pharma. They have been uh, living a privileged and uh, exclusive life 
under the previous administrations. But Trump is very concerned about getting effective medicines to the people. Look at RFK Jr. Look at RFK Jr. and the vaccines. Yeah, um, epic, absolutely epic. And Trump's not going to back down. He wants an investigation and a full uh, report on vaccines and whether they are hurting people. All right, Roger, thank you for all the time. Get in the car and rush over to that BBC interview. I know it's coming up soon. Uh, again, the StoneColdTruth.com or InfoWars.com. Thank you, Roger. On my way. Thanks. All right, folks, thank you. Uh, fourth hour coming up. I'm going to intro it with David Knight. So stay with us, InfoWars.com forward slash show. If your station doesn't carry the fourth hour, stay with us. We'll be back. Look, I'm not going to sit here and say, see, I told you so, that communist Chinese style net censorship was coming to the web because it's already here. It's being announced. The way you keep the internet open and free is you get involved more than ever. Go to InfoWars.com forward slash app. A new battleship in the fight. InfoWars Live, available right now. We're looking for a crew to man it. You going to sit down and play games and be a trendy? Or are you going to be part of history? Don't sit by and let the internet and free speech be stolen from you. Take action.